So we're reopening for the season. We've been in three lockdowns and <laughs> three, and we're very, very excited uh, to reopen again for pretty much kind of the third time. And hopefully this time we stay open for good that there won't be, can I knock on wood somewhere, that there won't be a fourth uh, lockdown? Not, not much wood <laughs> so, there, but, 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 uh, we're, but we're, reopening, we're reopening, but there's nobody coming. We're allowed to open the gardens for local visitors um, from roughly the beginning of March. I think we just got the figures today uh -huh. and we've had a grand total of two, sometimes three people a day, what? which compared to what? the one to two hundred people I'm a day. I'm sorry, can you just Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back... So, so, so basically nobody's coming. I mean, it's Wait. obviously the, it's the end of lockdown, um, or rather it's the ongoing lockdown. The end of lockdown is, is coming up. So people aren't supposed to be going long distances. But at the same time, we would have hoped that many more people would have would have come. And um, Dude, looking, are you marketing about this? Are you? How's your PR going for, for well, this? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's going you... fine. I, I just think we're obviously like so many historic houses and oh attractions goodness. of all kinds, and and cafes and shops. We're all we're all suffering. So so nobody's able to come. But we are, as you say, yeah. reopening the cafe on the 12th of April. That's the first time that we're really allowed to do that. Um, and we really, really hope that people come, people come physically and people come virtually by you joining us here. And then we have this vast car park, which hasn't got a single car in it, well, which is a great source of sadness. Well, let's hope those two to three people on average arrive today. And let's hope they, <laughs> they buy a lot of plants. And, uh, but I think, because when you come and visit a garden, you want to be able to go get your cup of tea and your scone and your sandwich. And Of course, so, of course. It's so all part of, think, the, part of the package. Yeah, it's part and, of the package. People, so people should I, I'm really, really hopeful that once the cafe opens up, that we will have a lot more visitors. I'll report back on on what we're offering for the um, on the cafe menu for this. I think it's going to be a limited menu yeah. because it's going to be takeaway. Oh, seagulls. Oh. Yeah, okay. okay. So, <laughs> all right, let's go do okay, that. Let's go do okay. that. We are starting to prepare to open up the coach house, which I have used as a yoga studio. I can see three yoga mats over there. So, luckily, I have my new yoga studio because can you imagine? Hi. Hi. I'm still going to, even though I've got my vaccine, I'm still going to stay, stay away. I'm going to social, I'm going <laughs> to yeah. social distance. Yeah. Absolutely. So this is Emma. Emma, I know many of you have met Emma before, um, who've been on, uh, the Patreon page earlier. Uh, Emma is our cafe manager Hello. and I have so many questions for you because a year ago we were shut down. We shut down whatever it was. Mm, almost exactly a year, year ago. ago. Almost exactly a year ago. Completely when we shut down. Open for a week. That's right. We had opened for a week and on the last day I had three people come in and it was very sad. It was a really, and we knew, I, we, we felt that it was coming. Yeah, we it, was knew coming. it was coming. Yeah. And yeah, that was, it was, that was crushing because we didn't know what would happen. And right. so in the summer when we got, we had a nice few months of a really good summer trading up here. Yep. Um, and then the winter arrived and, and Close shut again. down again. Yeah. The menu that we're going to do, um, we've really thought about the fact that it's outdoor dining and it's April. It's not yeah. exactly warm and it's outside. England. Mm. So we're looking at making sure rather than having our fixed, fixed menu that we would normally have at the beginning of every year painted up on our boards, we're using sort of different boards. We can change it every day. We're going to have like stuff that's easy to eat outside. So we'll have lots of soups going on. Yep. I hope we'll have pasties. Um, you know, stuff that you can eat outside that's it's easy. Um, yeah. And yeah, and obviously sandwiches. And sandwiches. Loads of course, sandwiches. sandwiches. Of course, Loads sandwiches. of sandwiches. Okay, so sandwiches, week, pasties, soup. Mm -hmm. Any Julie's Live Well salad? Is that going to make it, it, it this year? We don't know whether for indoor. Or have I been cut? <laughs> uh, indoor dining, we're going to have a whole bunch of things. Okay, okay. <laughs> Don't you worry. <laughs> Going through a cookbook. Just got to make sure um, I haven't been cancelled. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. But no, we, we've got. I, I'm really looking forward to just going with the flow, um, looking after people. As long as people leave happy and well fed and having had a nice day, yeah, then we've achieved what we've set out to do. Exactly. So we'll just have Good. to. Good. Yeah. Right. Um, thank you, Emma. That's so all right. I will nice obviously be back in collecting my yoga mats <laughs> soon enough. Um, but anyway, I'm excited and, you know, um, I just want to make sure that, you know, I don't get cancelled myself. You're, you're going to have to, you're gonna come, have to come over and do some testing. With I know us. I will. I'll do right. some testing for sure. Absolutely. I'll do some testing for sure. Okay. Bye, Emma. Take bye. Care. So 
So I'm here in the cafe and we are getting ready to open. So we're getting ready to open in about a week's time, a little bit over a week, and you all have started, you've started to create things. So FYI, I know many of you know Mark and Emma, but I'm gonna reintroduce. So Mark is our head chef here at the Coach House Cafe. And you've been on a lot of films with me. Yes. Yeah, we've yes. made a lot of things. And then Emma is, of course, our cafe manager. So what, are you, what have you guys been doing today? Well, at this stage before reopening, we're sort of going through different menu ideas, different cakes in particular. Yeah. And so we've been having a bit of a bake-off. Oh. And yes, so um, we've had some really, really good cakes. As you can see, they've been mostly eaten. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> has done well on those. Yeah. Um, and, and these haven't been eaten. No. Well, you see, part of this Just, period is experimenting. Yes. And um, we do like to make sure that we have something for everyone. So all of these cakes are actually gluten-free. Okay. What we Brilliant. have discovered today, Julie, is that these cakes don't really work with gluten-free flour. What are these cakes? These are Guinness cakes. What, what, are, Guin what are Guinness, Guinness. cakes? <laughs> Does anybody know what a Guinness cake is? Well, you've heard of Guinness. Do, well, I've heard of Guinness the beer. The beer, yeah. Yeah? So, um, yeah, we use Guinness. Oh, is this like a thing? Is this like an Irish thing? I promise, it's a really good cake. Is it popular? It's vegan. <laughs> Go on, try some. I'm going to try some. These okay. Are, the thing with the gluten-free flour, these ones have come out drier than we'd like. Okay. Um, because it's completely vegan as well. Isn't there a rule in, in um, Ireland that you have to eat them all in one? Well, <laughs> why, why are you interrupting? Are you on this film with us? <laughs> I mean, they are okay, a little bit dry. Yeah. Is that from the Guinness? Right. No, that's the. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, that's um, gluten free flour tends to be oh. a bit drier. So you see, with the, the olive oil cake there, like that's a... also gluten free, but it's got more of the oil in, so it's not as, as dry. As dry, and it's also got eggs in these ones as well. Right, um, I can taste the Guinness in this though. Yeah, well, that's, that's what our, it's one of our favorite mm. cakes in my household. I would like to send you into the kitchen to remake my Guinness cake. Oh! With plain flour. Yeah and see just how delicious a Guinness cake is. Okay. Hi, okay, here we are, kitchen. So I'm here to make the Guinness I'm bring you an assistant. muffins and make them a little bit more moist. Yes. Is that right? So yes. we're just not gonna use gluten-free gluten flour. Is that right? We're using regular flour. Yeah, we're using regular plain flour. Um, but as I say, it's a vegan cake. Yeah, um, great. A very simple recipe. It's got yeah. beer in it. I already like it. it Vegan and beer. There exactly. we go. Okay. All right. So, Mark, what is the recipe? Well, you, you need two cups of plain flour. Yeah. So there's your cup. There's my thing. There's your plain flour. Okay. So this is not the gluten-free, and you think that this is going to solve it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it does. It, it, it does. It, it does. Because the way we've made it before, I just uh, yesterday okay. I made it with gluten-free. So two cups. Two yeah. Two cups of those. Okay. All right. Okay. I mean, that's good enough. Yeah. One, right? Yeah. Does it have to be exact? Okay. I mean, I'm trying. That's about, uh huh. That's good. A little bit more. Okay. That's, that'll be two. Two, okay. One cup of chocolate powder. You use the same cup. Oh, one cup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Whoop. Sorry. Oh, dear. Okay. Okay. Okay, one cup. Excellent. Two teaspoons of baking soda. Two teaspoons of baking soda. A little bit more or no? No, let's go. Okay. Okay. And I mean a cup of caster sugar. Okay. I'll tell you what I am going to do. As soon as I pop that open, I'm going to try it. <laughs> Just test it. I've only had Guinness once in my life when I was in Dublin, I was in say, Ireland. That's the only place I think I've ever and I didn't like it, so I'm going to try it again. I didn't actually. So one cup of this, Mark? Uh, yes, please. Okay, one cup. Half Excellent. a cup of brown sugar. Half a cup of brown sugar. This is super easy. Half a cup. Then Great. We need, and then we need half a cup of oil. Half a cup of oil. Okay. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Uh, two cups of Guinness. Which oh! Is, which is about which the full it thing. is the full oh. can. Which oh. is the full can. Well, what if I want to try it? I don't know. Okay, I'm going to try it. I got it. Okay. Did you shake it or anything? No, we'll wait. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Get it. Okay. Oh, okay. So I'm going to take a little sip of this because I've only had Guinness one 
time in my life, and it was in Ireland, and I didn't like it. But maybe I'll like it out of a can. Sure, I'll tell you about that. Mm -hmm. Now, what do you think? Do you guys like Guinness? No. In, no? In cake. Okay. Yes. In cake. Okay. <laughs> but okay. As, a, as a beverage. I'm going to smell it like wine. See, the thing is, it smells really nice. You're like, ooh, I want to drink that. And okay. Then drink it. And then you drink it. Okay. It's better than I remember. It's better. It's, it's like, better. Yeah, it's, it's better when it tastes like cold like that. Um. It's much better. Maybe it's because I've become a true beer drinker that I appreciate it. Because this was years ago that I had it on tap in Ireland, and it was before I became like a full-fledged beer drinker. Good. So what are your favorite sweet cakes or muffins or biscuits, cookies that use other forms of alcohol? Let us know down below. <laughs> yes. Okay, stick it in now. Okay, here we go. This is much better than I thought. It doesn't mean that I'm gonna go out and buy and drink this, but it was at least better than I remember all those years ago. Okay, let's just get, mm -hmm, let's get every single bit in it. Okay? What's that noise? Has the widget. Has the widget spoiled our April Fool joke, though? <laughs> <laughs> because we had shaken the can of beer, hoping it was all going to spray everywhere. Yeah, but I'm too April clever. Fool, I'm too clever. You knew we'd done that. No, I didn't so know. I didn't, I didn't know it was April, I knew it was April Fool's. But I just know that opening up, listen, I'm a beer drinker. So I know what it's like when you open up cans of beer, oh, that it could go everywhere. The widget spoiled the guy. Right. Yeah, that's excellent. Yeah. My nine-year-old loves this cake. It's his favorite. This is brilliant. It well, tastes. How long is that going to take in the oven? 25 to 30 minutes. OK. So we'll in the meantime, I'll just finish this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It's good. I'm super happy with that. Much better than I remember. And I'm glad your little trick didn't work. I'll put it in yeah? the oven. Okay, I'll put it in the oven. Is there something else I should, is like something going to explode now? No, 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 you're all right. Now? <gasps> oh, God. Unless okay. you drop it. Almost said, okay, there. Sorry, do you see? Stick it in the middle. Yeah. Middle, right yeah, there? that's fine. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, this is the defining moment, everybody. Defining moment. I've got my oven gloves, and let's check it out. Oh, fancy pants oven here we have in the kitchen. It smells really nice. It does I, smell really nice. It, it, I'm probably making this up. I feel like I smell the Guinness, or no? You can, you, you can smell the maltiness of the Guinness, so it's not the kind of alcohol-y um, hit in the face of Guinness, right. but it's that kind of more, uh, it's a, a subtle, no, right, it's not, like, it's not like I'm drinking a whole pint of Guinness, no, we'll right? Drink. Exactly. Okay, so here is the moment. I'm just going to, listen, it still has to set. So I just thought this is perfect, right, to take a little piece off here. Definitely, I can already tell, much more much, moist yeah. than the gluten-free ones, right? Okay, I, yeah, and I'll tell you what the big difference is. is remember when I tried the ones out there the gluten free yep. and i was like oh they're good but then it was it like was stuck in, it was like yeah. stuck in my mouth like this one is washing down really nice because it's moist i mean it's such a simple recipe mm. um but it, it tastes Ooh. good what's that what's that does that mean it's done that means it's ready <laughs> all right okay anyway it's we're gonna go um get mark or somebody to figure out how to do okay. this but come and visit us Okay, come and visit us. Um, okay, <laughs> we're gonna sort this out. Maybe we do that. Oh, that's probably right. There we go. Yeah. Okay, um, come and visit us here when you can and try Emma's Guinness cake. So we're gonna say goodbye now that we've sorted this out and let this cool down, but do leave us recipes in the comments of your favorite recipes that include alcohol. Yep. Right, because that's what this, this episode is about. We've used Guinness, but what do you all use for your cakes or your cupcakes or your muffins or anything else? Leave it down below in the comments and you might try one of them, yeah, is that right? Absolutely. Yeah, we might do a whole episode on one of your recipes. Bye everybody.
the pipes burst all over the house, including up in the attics up here. And water came through this ceiling, this Rococo ceiling, particularly in this area, so that that satyr, that fellow in the centre of that roundel, had a drip on the end of his nose for months. 